Okay, this little walkthrough is designed to help review tracing through uh, nested loops. So in this small example here, we have our outer loop right here for int i equals 5, i less than 0, put a little space there to make it look better, i minus minus. And inside that is an inner loop for int k equals 1, k less than or equal to i, k plus plus, system dot dot print k followed by a space. And then after this loop is completely over, the inner loop is completely over, we have a system to dot dot print line to take us to the beginning of the next line. Now this code might look familiar to some of you. It was exactly what you needed to create the spaces on your Christmas tree, to move your, your Christmas tree over. I have instead of spaces so that we can see it when we trace through it, I'm printing the value of the inner loop control variable. So I'm printing the value of k. I am going to use the debug um, the debug menu item. Oopsies, that's not what we really want. Well, this is kind of cool. I'll just tell you this right, right now. This allows us to trace through, but those aren't the variables we're looking at. Well, here we go. I am going to execute one line at a time, and hopefully we are going to see the output right here in this window. So I'm going to press F8, which is the step over um, uh, shortcut, and I can rest my mouse over any of the variables, and it will show me in a little tooltip the current value. So i is an integer, and it currently equals 5. And then what is k? k is an integer, and it currently equals 1. What's i? Well, i equals 5. It hasn't changed, and i will not change inside this inner loop. So k equals 1. 1 is less than or equal to 5. So I enter the loop, and I print k. So I should see 1 print in my output window. There it is, 1 is printed. Then we come back up here and we've got an increment k, so I rest my mouse on k and you can see it's still 1, but as soon as I step, it becomes 2. And now I'm going to print that 2 and loop back up and k will become 3. And I'll print the 3 and loop back up, k will become 4. 4 is still less than or equal to 5. I enter loop and I print 4. And then I loop back up and k becomes 5. 5 is less than or equal to 5, so I enter the loop and I print k. And I go back up and it increments k to 6, and 6 is not less than or equal to 5. So we're done with that loop. Now we do the print line, so the stuff will appear at the beginning of the next line. And I go back up to my outer loop, and it's going to increment i. It hasn't done so, or excuse me, decrement i. It subtracts 1 from i. I can rest my mouse over i and see that it's now clear. And then I'm going to have k be initialized to 1, and as long as k is less than 4, I'm going to loop entirely through, go all the way through that inner loop during one iteration of the outer loop. When you're tracing through this, take it one step at a time. Go deliberately, pay very close attention to the print versus print line because it makes a huge difference whether or not you're going to print rows or columns, and you will see that this code produces that little upside down dealy bobber. I hope that you found this video helpful.